I'm gonna eat my food. I'm gonna eat my pizza. Okay, so let's get this done so I can shut up, eat, and read. <laughs> hey everybody, it's day three of the Stay Home Reading Rush. April 18th, yeah, and it is six o'clock in the evening and I'm just now sitting down to do anything, uh, anything personal because my dad needed to go into town and do laundry because not everybody has a working washer and dryer and we're one of those people who don't have wash working washer and dryer. And then we got pizza because pizza, if we, if we were gonna be out in the town, because it's 20 minutes good to go into town and 20 minutes back if you're gonna pick up a pizza order out there. And that's it, that's it, that's all I've done today. I left, I went and I got pizza and I'm sitting up. So to be fair, it's not surprising that it's six o'clock in the evening and I'm just now getting down to doing anything because I'm, an, I'm like an owl. I'm asleep during the day, I'm awake at night, and I'm randomly screeching at people, so. Also, shout out to my brother who said that these reminded him of Will Smith's diaries from I Am Legend where he's trying to cure a disease. Boy, I don't know if I'm offended or flattered. I don't know yet. I just wanna read my book and I wanna eat my pizza. I've only gotten 50 more pages done of The Paper Magician, but I'm at my favorite part. This is the part where like the, the action gets started. Our character has to, our main character has to go into the heart of her master because somebody stole it and she has to go get it back. It's confusing. Long story short, it, it gets real exciting from here. I'll be surprised if this book lasts me another like two to three hours. This is usually the part where I'm like, I get hyper-focused on it and I binge read it because I just, I, I love it so much. And then uh, at some point tonight, we'll start The Bear and the Nightingale because I have not a lot of time left to finish it. A little over 24 hours now before the end of the Stay Home Reading Rush and I am just, I'm struggling, guys. That's, that's the, that is the theme. That is the theme of my life right now, guys, is I'm just, I'm struggling. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna eat my pizza before it gets cold. I'm gonna drink my tea before it gets warm and I will check in with you guys in a few hours when I've done anything. Okay. Here's probably why I'm never gonna do this again after all this is over, and it's because I record the same clip like 8,000 times, and I'm still not happy with it by the time I'm done, and eventually I just have to give up and put something out there because I said I was gonna put something out there, so. Also, I let my hair down because it wouldn't be a video of mine if I wasn't playing with my hair every three seconds. And now that I've said it, you probably won't be able to unsee it, so you're welcome. It is three in the morning, and I am ashamed to admit that I am just now finishing The Paper Magician because I'm a liar. I lied. I said I wasn't going to get distracted by Animal Crossing, and I 100% got distracted by Animal Crossing. I 75% got distracted by Animal Crossing. I did listen to the audiobook for The Paper Magician while I was playing the game. I was farming tarantulas. Those of you who play Animal Crossing know exactly what I'm talking about. So it's not like I wasn't reading at all. I just wasn't reading at the pace that I needed to or wanted to. In my last update, I said that I was gonna finish The Paper Magician in a couple of hours, and that was at 6 p.m. Clearly that didn't happen because it's 3 a.m. I love audiobooks, they're great. They let me do things like play something at the same time as I read a book, but audiobook narrators tend to read a lot slower than I naturally do, which means I didn't finish the book in the time that I wanted to. Also, admittedly, I did stop because I promised my brother last night that we would play Divinity Original Sin 2 on the PlayStation 4, and we did. And normally we only play from like 10 p.m. to midnight, which still would have left me plenty of time to do whatever it is that I wanted to do. But 10 p.m. turned into 2 a.m. and we were like, oh God, we need to finish this last quest and then stop. <laughs> and at that point I pulled up the audiobook and it said I had about two hours left and I was like, no, 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 no. I can finish this a lot faster. So I pulled up my Kindle and I finished the book there because I was just, I was just tired. I was tired of it. Not the book, I was tired of me. And that's, that's the theme of my quarantine right now, is I'm just tired of me right now. I've had to deal with myself so much in the last three weeks, four weeks, that I've just done with it. Somebody else can handle me for a while, because I need a break. It does mean that I have less than 24 hours to finish The Bear and the Nightingale, and I thought that was that book was over 400 pages, but I'm a moron, and it's actually only 320-something, so I have it pulled up on my Kindle here. If it will open. I have it pulled up on my Kindle here, as you can see, chapter one, Frost. I don't know if you can actually read that. And I'm going to... <sighs> I'm not gonna say that I'm not gonna get distracted and read and, and read through it, because I will, I'll get distracted. I'll probably get about 50 pages in and my brain will wanna wander off somewhere else. So I think I might actually need to re-employ reading sprints again, where like I read for 10 minutes and then I do something else for a little bit and then I read for 10 minutes and I do something else because the problem is that my brain has had a really hard time focusing on one single task lately. So I don't know why I thought the stay home reading rush was gonna be a good idea because I knew in my brain that was probably gonna require me at some point to sit down and just read and I can't 
do that. I am going to get started on the Bear and the Nightingale. I'm gonna do some reading sprints to try to get, to try to knock out a few hundred pages before I go to bed. And I will check in with you guys tomorrow when I wake up and hopefully I am less disappointed with myself. I'm trying to decide the wins and losses I wanna take away from the Stay Home Reading Rush because I'm clearly not gonna finish all the books that I set out to read. It is seven o'clock in the evening on April 19th. So it's the last five hours of the Stay Home Reading Rush and it's, it's been a struggle. After I recorded the previous clip for this video, I thought to myself, oh, I'm still gonna be up for a few hours, so let me do some reading spreads. I will read a little bit of the book of The Bear and the Nightingale, and then I'll do some pre-editing of this video because I didn't want it to take three to four hours to finish whenever the reading challenge was over and I needed to get this video up. At some point, I knocked my phone off of my desk and when I bent down to pick it up, because I guess I'm an old lady now, I pulled a muscle in my back, it, something between my neck and my shoulder, because it, it just hurt. It hurt then, it hurts now, it hurt while I was trying to sleep last night, and, and at that point I gave up, I just took a couple Tylenol PM and I went to bed. And I knew this was gonna happen when I picked The Paper Magician as one of my books, but I thought to myself, no, I have the willpower. But I ended up listening to the audiobook for The Glass Magician because I never just read The Paper Magician, I always read the whole series, because in my brain I'm like, well, they're all like less than 250 pages, so reading all three of them together is just like reading one at longer than average book, right? And I enjoy it, so why not? <laughs> I got about 50% of the way through that before I finally decided maybe I needed to stop being in bed, because again, I had to film this, I needed to eat some food, I heated up a piece of... I heated up a piece of my pizza from yesterday, I filled up my cup with tea, and... I'm gonna finish the audiobook for The Glass Magician while I play Animal Crossing, and then I'll probably start the audiobook for The Bear and the Nightingale because I've started this book, so now I have to finish it. And I got an email this morning from Audible being like, hey, do you want a 30 day free trial? And I was like, you know what? Fine, sure, why not? It's the only time I ever get books out of Audible. It's either when somebody gives it to me or if they give me a free 30 day trial and I use my credit because I have a storied history with Audible and it has absolutely nothing to do with the company itself. The, the last time I tried the service, it was whenever I was commuting back and forth from work for two hours a day. Like I would drive an hour to work and I would drive an hour back and it was turning out that $15 for one single audiobook in a month was not enough audiobook. Let's say on average, most audiobooks are between 12 to 15 hours. That's a week and a couple, that's a couple, that's a week and a couple days of work for me. And at that point I would have to wait almost three more weeks for another credit to get another book and it just wasn't about that life. At the time I didn't know Kindle Unlimited did audible narration, otherwise we'd have had a whole different experience. But now that I'm not commuting a bajillion hours to work and I'm actually listening to audiobooks on their own, I might consider giving the service another shot, but until then, I'll take my one free credit, I'll read, I'll listen to The Bear and the Nightingale, and then I'll move on with my life. But just because I have officially decided that I have failed the stay home reading rush, I, I'm still gonna update you guys again, I'm still gonna put out this video, I'm still gonna update you guys again because the day is not quite over yet. So expect more clips from me for this video, I just don't know when I'll be checking in or what I'll be talking about, so it'll be a fun adventure the rest of this video. Anyways, I'm gonna take some more Tylenol because my shoulder really hurts, I'm gonna eat some pizza, I'm gonna drink my tea, and I am gonna go dig a bunch of holes in Animal Crossing because God only knows what I'm gonna find. All right, I got my blanket wrapped around me like a shawl. I didn't brush my hair before I started this video because there's a spider in the sink in my bathroom. I'm not about that life right now. And I took a painkiller for the muscle that I pulled on my shoulder. So I'm just a tiny bit loopy. And I thought, what's the best time to record a video after you've taken a painkiller and you're just a teeny tiny bit loopy, so. Now I said I would update you guys at the end of the stay home reading rush and it is now 2.45 in the morning on April 20th. So I think we can call this done and put this nightmare behind us. All right, I'm probably being dramatic when I call it a nightmare, but I am disappointed in myself. I didn't accomplish all the goals that I set out to accomplish, but I am hard pressed to call this a complete failure. And the reason why is because I managed to read more in the last four days than I had in the entire preceding month and I managed to get three of the four challenges done. I think at this point, I'm gonna cut myself some slack. I'm gonna give myself credit for the things that I did do, and I'm just gonna move on with my day. <laughs> I do have some final thoughts I wanna share on the Stay Home Reading Rush, but first, let's go over the challenges and see where we went wrong, what we did great, and we're just gonna kinda go from there, and I'm gonna keep talking, and eventually I'll learn to shut up. One of the challenges I feel is one of those that 99% of the people who participated in the Stay Home Reading Rush managed to accomplish, and that was to read a book in the same room the whole time. 
I went over this in my reading tag video. I only have the one room in my house that I can read books. So we're just gonna mark that one off and not hang on it too long because there's no reason. Another challenge was to read a book set in a place that you wish you could go. And this is another one I feel like a lot of people accomplish very easily. Just by the nature of the fact that we've all been stuck home for so long that really anywhere would have been better than our own living rooms. I mean, maybe not like World War II Europe or prison or something like that, but you get what I'm saying. The book that I picked for this was Shadow Magic by Nasri Noor because it's set in California and I've had a lot of fun times in California and I'd like to go back there one day, maybe eventually when I have like money and free time and there's not a pandemic restricting travel. I gave this book three stars. I didn't like it, but I didn't hate it either. It wasn't exactly the best book, but just because it felt like for 70% of the book, nothing was happening. And then 30% of the book, everything happened. And then you're just like, I don't, I don't get it. I don't want to go too much into detail because then I won't have anything to talk about in my reading wrap up. But just suffice to say, take all of my comments from an earlier video, copy paste them here. Shadow Magic was fine. It was fine. Another challenge was to read a book that makes you smile. And for this one, I picked The Paper Magician by Charlie and Holmberg because I love that book. I love, it's, it's got such a special place in my heart. And I'm not sure if it's because I found it at one of the lowest points in my life in the last few years, or if it's just like a nice, cute, wholesome story, but it's great. It's fun. I love it. I will always read it anytime I'm in a reading slump or anytime I'm in a bad mood. Just somebody tell me to read The Paper Magician and it'll cheer me up at least for a little bit because it's great. The characters are fantastic. The story is fine. I never just read The Paper Magician. I always end up reading the other two in the, in the series. I read The Paper Magician and then I actually, before I filmed this video, finished The Glass Magician and I will probably, after this video is done, start The Master Magician. I can't stop myself and I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry. I love this series. I will read this series as many times as I want to the point where I actually purchased the eBooks for these because I'd just been checking them out through Kindle Unlimited. And finally, I told myself, why do you do this? Just buy them, just buy them. You just buy them. And I did, I bought them. Granted, I was in a lot of pain and on a slightly heavier than normal painkiller, but still, I do not regret that $6. The last challenge, which is actually the first challenge listed on the Reading Rush website, I just didn't want to leave with it because I didn't do it, was to read a book with a house on the cover. This challenge gave me some issues before the Reading Rush ever started because I couldn't find a book with a house on the cover. I was about to read probably something really terrible off of Kindle Unlimited before I remembered that I owned The Bear and the Nightingale by Catherine Arden, the ebook anyway, so that's the one I ended up picking. I went over this in my previous clip. I got about 50 pages into this book before I hurt myself and just couldn't finish it. If I'd have had the audiobook, it probably would have been a different story, but I didn't. I had the ebook and I really just wasn't feeling up to physically reading it with my eyeballs. And I would have preferred to read it with my ear holes and that's why I didn't do it, so. I am gonna finish The Bear and the Nightingale and I'm gonna try to finish it before the end of the month because I did start it and I hate not finishing books. But the rush was to try to get it done before the end of the stay home reading rush and I just didn't do that. So part of me is disappointed in myself, but the rest of me is also like, girl, you got so much reading done in four days. Why are you being mad at yourself? Stop focusing on the shit you didn't do and focus on the good things that you did do. Why you gotta hate yourself? At which point I'm like, man, my inner voice is getting way too sassy. I've been out of work for way too long at this point. While I didn't accomplish all four goals for the stay home reading rush, I feel like I came away with some pretty valuable lessons. And one of those lessons is to never assume that I'm only gonna read The Paper Magician because I will always read all three of those books every time I start the first one. Always, 100% of the time. The other lesson is that I don't think readathons are really the best way for me to jumpstart my reading after a reading slump. It doesn't make sense for me to go, well, I haven't read anything for, you know, three weeks. So let me try to like cram as much reading as possible into four days. Because that sounds like a sane thing a sane person would do. Overall, I'm happy with what I accomplished during the stay home reading rush. Yes, I didn't accomplish all my goals, but I did get more done than I thought I was gonna do. And it gave me a chance to test out this, to do these little daily vlogs and to figure out like what works and what doesn't work. and to sort of mess around with editing a little bit. So I also got to learn some stuff outside of reading. 
but I don't know if I'm gonna be doing these again very often because this is nerve wracking. I don't think you guys understand how many times I record one of these clips before I finally figure out which one I wanna use. And also, I gotta give props to people who edit daily vlogs or even weekly vlogs because just doing days one and two taught me a valuable lesson and that was that I need to pre-edit. I need to edit as I go because if I do this again and I just take all my clips and try to edit them at once, that took me like three to four hours and that was not a fun time. <laughs> Right, my phone has 12% battery left. I don't want to plug it in and this video is probably long enough already. So I'm going to go ahead and call it a night. If you guys participated in the Stay Home Reading Rush, let me know in the comments below. What books did you read? Which challenges gave you the most issues? Anything and everything, I'd love to know what your experiences were. As always, if you liked what you watched, uh, please leave a like on the video, subscribe for more random uploads that probably have something to do with books, might have something to do with writing and who knows? Who knows what I'm going to do in the future? We're all starting to get a little star crazy. You can also follow me on Twitter at MaxPilot, and if this video made any sense, I will be super surprised. Please out there, stay safe, stay sane. Don't lick random people, please, for the love of God. That's so gross, even not during a pandemic, and I will see you guys in another video. Bye.